So this is our main event of the evening for Courage for Wrestling. This is our second ever dog collar match in CPW history. These two have a history going back a year almost. Violence, brutality, carnage, mayhem. Started at the Battle for Hamilton Heritage when Aiden Rain qualified by beating uh, TJ Cart to earn a spot in the Rumble match and he was jumped from behind by this man, Holden Albright. And of course, the war did not stop there between them. We've seen them attacking each other during pre-shows. During intermissions in May, we saw a suplex off the side of the ring to, a, to the floor at RHLI. Cut your break short that day. We, uh, was it July in this very building that Aiden Rain was barred from the building? It was. But he purchased the ticket just so he could jump hold it all right saving the grinder march off from abuse of the chain, which led to this dog collar match. Now, can things between these two get any more brutal? I would say we're about to find out. Holding nine on the chain. You know, I've got some hot sauce if he wants. Hot sauce on metal? Hey, don't knock until you try it. Right, I'm not gonna try it because I'm not gonna lie. Here comes his opponent. Aiden Ryan, who's headbanging on the entranceway. And, you know, maybe that's what he's got to do to get in the mindset to go one on one with an animal like this, holding Albright in a dog collar match. Making his way around, getting himself in that mindset. You know, holding Albright's mother is standing behind us. Oh, so she is. And Albright just bland the door. Rain just glances at Albright and backs into the adjacent corner and is tying himself in. No hesitation getting that collar locked in. Now let's keep in mind that uh, to score a decision you must be attached with the collar around your neck to the chain. Old school checking this, uh, the chain around Rain's neck and said we're good to go and now he's going to Albright. Albright's gonna have to remove that wolf head to put the chain on one would thing. He's going to comply. Well, at least one would think so. He's taking his sweet time. Off comes the head. There's that menacing face and that menacing look. The maniacal. You know, if you've ever seen the way this man competes in a ring, it's maniacal. If you've ever seen his pre-show promos, they're very much like a, a police file. Very smart. And uh, old school observing Albright doing up his own collar. Making sure there's no funny business with the buckle going on. Old school checks. Says we're good to go. And uh, these two men are in bad fights. Here, here we go, and they're going to start with a bit of a tug of war. They want to jockey for position, see if we can get the most metal. Oh, and Rain gets pulled in and then gets shoulder tackled by Albright. Now Albright is whipping him with that chain. Let's keep in mind the chain can be used as a weapon. Kick to the gut. And knees to the side. Now he's just beating on the back. Keep in mind, you are attached around the neck by a chain. A heavy metal chain. Which is 18 feet long that can also be used as a weapon. No disqualifications, no count outs. Anything goes now that the chain has been attached. This is very correct. Into the corner. And Albright wrapping the chain around the hand of Rain. Remember, those chains, again, just like on the last match, small joint manipulation. You see when he went for that uh, knife edge chop to the chest, he also hit the chain right into the sternum. Ooh. That could have been uh, because of the chain, one count. Yeah, you can't really uh, knife edge chop someone to hit the chain. Yeah, that's right. Which will hurt your hand. But hey, as long as it hurts the other guy even more. And now Albright using the chain, or Rain using the chain on the back of Albright. Shot to the small of the back. There is definitely no love lost between these two right here. And it looks like Rainer's trying to 
choke the life out of Umbra. Hey, why not? If, if you can choke him out, then he can't fight back. Just get that victory. And he's up on his back, wrapping his feet around him. Oh! Then he just throws his legs up from underneath him and, you know, lands on the sternum of Agent Rain. But remember, the chain was in the middle. Yeah, Rain also landed on some of that chain as well. So did Albright. Looks like he's going for a German suplex into the corner. Beal and a bit of the chain landing on there and kick to the back. One to the chest after. And Ray, you know, wrap the chain around the arms of Holden Albright and oof. Almost a meteora. With the chain, it's going to have a bit more of an effect because the chain is going to, as he's running, he's going to tighten and then as he comes back, kind of loose. You got that impact. Aiden Rain trying to fight. Just a boot straight up into the chest. Caught him. Oh! oh and the bad, that top of the shoulders and back of the head landing on the chain. He drives the knee into the stomach of, of Rain there. But you could also see the chain dragging when oh. he backed up, almost sawing into him. That splash. And he's biting at the ear, gnawing at the ear, pulling at the ear. Something not nice. Boy, he, he spit something out after. Perhaps it, he maybe got a Tyson on him. Got a chunk Put, of that ear out. Puts his foot on his chest and just steps over. Just the brutality of those shots. Oh, my Ooh, God. And that's where the chain comes into play. Aiden Rain running to hit the ropes. And Albrecht just yanks the chain. And now just wrapping the chain around his own arm before he hits that <coughs> elbow. And then he gets a two count. This is not a match for the faint at heart. It's not something everybody's going to want to compete in. Oh no, it takes a special kind of crazy to compete in a match like this. Just missed. I think he crotched himself with the chain. And that could happen because remember, the chain is going to come up between your legs because it is going from your neck down and then out and across to the other person. And he got punches to the side of the head. All right, oh, oh. he shot himself. Turned into a Gore Park brawl out there. Gore Park, Gage Park, Spencer Smith Park. Oh, look at the jumping kick by Albright. Got him set up for something coming out of that corner. Of course, whatever this landing's gonna be, it'll just be amplified by that chain. Oh, and again, it looks like he may have crotched with the pulling of the chain. Back up and he just yanks Aiden Rain off the top rope via the chain, which is around his neck. So really then, he just pulled him off the top rope by his neck. Essentially. And I've never been attacked by a dog fall or another human being, but I would imagine the whiplash effect is not going to feel very nice on the neck. You see both men are uh, laying prone in the middle of our ring. Wait, you've never been tied up by a dog collar? What kind of boring ass vanilla sex life do you have? Both men now getting back onto their feet. Yes, throwing punches back and forth. Forearm. Shot. Oh. oh, and that was a, a straight headbutt. Straight headbutt to the side of the face. Though. Yeah, th there's no holding back on that one. No pun intended. You asked me earlier how the normal my sex life was. I once saw my friend's girlfriend naked in my face screaming, Hit me! Hit me! So Tuesdays. Yes. These two are fighting. Just back and forth. Jesus. They're just slapping each other back and forth. Those will leave a mark though. Uh-oh. Set up for a big chop, had him distracted and just drilled that skull back into him. Grabs him by the head, showing the fist. Did, was that an elbow? Was that a fist to the chain? 
maybe all, maybe a bit of Bevera, all of it. Has him set up in the front chancery, maybe suplex. And Aiden Rain with a suplex. Of his own, but you can see Holden get tied up in the chain after. Old school wisely wearing gloves for his own safety. And that leads to a two count, as you see Albright hold the chain up from around his stomach and is now trying to get it from around his neck. And Aiden Rain is putting Holden Albright through the middle row. Looked like he was going for an elevated flatliner almost. Oh! And as Aiden Rain hits the ropes and comes back, Holden Albright uses the excess amount of chain to drive it into Aiden Rain's gut. Back fist! Calling for a big lariat, perhaps. Stan Hansen style, maybe? It does not matter. And ooh! Hold the offer went over the top rope to the floor. That is not the position you want to be in. And is Aiden Rain trying to um, hang? Choke him out? Hang him, perhaps? He's trying to make him pass out, I think. He, wait. Holden Albright has gotten... They lead. broke the chain. They broke the chain or did Albright undo his collar? Uh, either way... He is free, which means he cannot win the match at the moment. Is this match even legally still going at the moment, or do they have to restrap the collar? I would say as part of the Courage Pro Wrestling Championship Committee, no, this match is not legally still going, as you see only one of the men in the catch. Old school's gonna let it go, though. Almost old, a neckbreaker DDT, little shake, rattle, and roll on the chain. Old school is admonishing. But it will not Rain count the cover. I'm just making no attempts to reinstitute this match. There's that hard lariat. Oh, and one to the back of the head. Adrian looks like he may be out on his feet. Albright has him up. Hoisted him like a sack of potatoes. Oh, and just, he looks like he's out. Look at Albright. He's fishing for the collar so he can do it back up and put it around his neck. Could be taking too much time here, though. He's doing up the collar in old school. He's going to allow it. Probably should have thrown this match out. And, and he is out cold. And Holden Albright is the victorious member of this match. Now, after a war like that, I do not think the violence between these two is completed. Violence no. may be the answer, but what was the question? Uh, you know, in a match like this, when it ends like that, where another man gets unattached from the collar, this didn't settle much. No, we have to find some way to make the outcome just unescapable. What is the next step from here? Aiden Rain looks like he's out. Holden Albright's telling old school to get out of the ring. He's not Watch done with him. Holden Albright got in mind with this chain now. Remember, the match is over. Just gonna wrap it around his throat. You can crush his trachea like that. Oh, there's the grinder Mark Shaw. Remember, Aiden Rain saved Mark Shaw in July when we were here last from the chain at the hands of Holden Albright. And it looks like Mark Shaw is returning the favor and saving Aiden Rain. You know, if there's anyone that knows violence, of course, it is would Is Rain asking for a mic? Aiden Rain has been handed a mic. Wow! 
So, oh, shit. December the 8th, the challenge has been issued for Maiden Rain. Barbed wire mayhem with the big man, Mark Shaw, is the outside enforcer to make sure stuff happens as it should. Barbed wire is not something to be messed around with. It is It can tear your flesh from bone. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And you have a guy like Mark Shaw as the outside enforcer. That's a big boy that can make sure that, you know, everything happens just in case the referee gets taken out.